invited dignitaries, staff members, students and their parents, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a great privilege and honor to be present here on the occasion of the Convocation Ceremony at the Indian Institute of Science as the representative of the Governing Council. Indeed, if you look at the origin of Indian Institute of Science itself, it is the interaction between Swami Vivekananda and Tata's which resulted in the formation of this institute with the graciousness of Maharaja of Mysore providing the land. And it is a temple of higher learning mentored by eminent and visionary leaders like C. V. Raman, J. M. Ramchandran, Satish Dhawan, C. N. R. Rao and others. IASC has produced many scientists and engineers who have played a key role in the development of the country over the last century. While the institution has been able to make a mark and carve a place for itself in the area of providing opportunities to seekers of higher knowledge, it's a constant struggle to retain its position of preeminence in view of the changing scenario, whether it is the period of pre-independence, post-independence, or industrialization, digital revolution, ecological impacts of rapid growth and development, or the climate change, etc. While some believe ranking of the institution on international scale is, an impo is important, others deem it is necessary to focus on the requirements of the nation first. I had an opportunity to talk to the erstwhile director of Galset Caltech who mentioned that while he has had exposure to centers of higher learning across the globe, he considers that the only institute which comes very close to California Institute of Technology, Caltech, is Indian Institute of Science. 